हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम राघवेंद्र कुमार सिंह फैकल्टी ऑफ यू एस अकेडमी एंड इंस्टीट्यूट टूडे वी विल डिस्कस क्लास सेवेंथ जोग्रफी सेकेंड चैप्टर इन साइड आवर अर्थ इन दिस चैप्टर वी विल डिस्कस प्लान अबाउट द प्लानट अर्थ द इंटीरियर पार्ट्स ऑफ द प्लानट्स नेम्ड क्रस्ट मेंटल कोर रॉक्स एंड देयर टाइप्स सच एज इग्नियस रॉक्स सेडिमेंट्री रॉक्स मेटामॉर्फिक रॉक्स यूज ऑफ रॉक्स रॉक साइकिल एंड मिनरल्स सो लेट एस डिस्कस द चैप्टर प्लानट अर्थ द अर्थ इन विच ह्यूमन्स लिव इज नॉट एब्सोल्यूट स्फेरिकल इन शेप द अर्थ कंप्राइज थ्री लेयर्स क्रस्ट मेंटल एंड कोर दे व कॉन्स्टेंट चेंजेस टेक प्लेस इन साइड एज वेल एज आउट साइड द अर्थ द इंटीरियर ऑफ द अर्थ द अर्थ इज लाइक अनियन which is made up of several layers number 1 crust the uppermost layer over the earth surface is called the crust it is the thinnest layer of all the layers it is 35 km thick on the land ma- landmass continental masses and only 5 km on the ocean floor main mineral constituents of the continental mass silica and alumina therefore thus it is called shale means uh, s i a l s i which stands for silica and air which stand for alumina the oceanic crust mainly consists of silica and magnesium thus it is called sima si stand for silica and ma stand for magnesium now the second layer mantle the layer extend up to a depth of 2900 km below the crust now the next layer core the innermost layer is the core the radius of core is about 3500 km it is mainly made up of nickel and iron thus it is called a knife ni stand for nickel and fe stand for ferrous which is also called as iron the central core has very high temperature and pressure now the rocks any natural mass of minerals matter that make up the earth crust is called a rock it can be of different color shape size and texture there are three major types of rocks number 1 igneous rocks number 2 sedimentary rocks number 3 metamorphic rocks igneous rocks when the mo- molten magma cools it becomes solid and are called igneous rocks they are also called as primary rocks there are two types of igneous rocks number 1 extrusive rocks and intrusive rocks when the molten lava comes on the earth surface it uh, rapidly cools down and became solid on the crust these rocks are called extrusive igneous rocks they have a very fine grained structure for example basalt The Deccan Plateau is made up of basalt rocks. 
when the molten magma cools down deep inside the earth crust giving information of uh, or the formation of uh, solid rocks are called intrusive igneous rocks since they cool down slowly they form large grains example granite grinding stones used to prepare paste powder of spices and uh, grains are made up of granite now the sedimentary rocks rocks roll down crack and hit each other and are broken down into small fragments which are called sediments these sediments are transported and deposited by wind water etc these loose sediments are compressed and hardened to form layers of rocks these types of rocks are called sedimentary rocks for example sandstone is made from grains of sand sedimentary rocks may also contain fossils of plants animals and other microorganisms that uh, once lived on them now the metamorphic rocks under great heat and pressure igneous and uh, sedimentary rocks are uh, change into metamorphic rocks example clay changes into slate and limestone changes into marble now about the uses of rocks rocks are used for construction activities such as making building roads etc rocks are the source of minerals which are useful for various purposes in our daily life now about the rock cycle the process of transformation of the rock from one to another is known as the rock cycle it describes the changes among the three main type of rocks igneous sedimentary and metamorphic rocks when the molten magma cools it uh, solidifies to become igneous rocks these igneous rocks are broken down into small pieces by various agents such as weathering temperature wind etc and are transported and deposited to form sedimentary rocks these smaller grains of rocks keep moving toward basin and lower region and gradually form sedimentary rocks when the igneous and sedimentary rocks are subjected to heat and pressure they changes into metamorphic rocks the metamorphic rocks which are still under great heat and pressure melt down to form molten magma this molten magma again cool down and solidify into igneous rocks these processes take hundreds and thousands of years now about the minerals minerals are naturally occurring substances which have certain physical properties and definite chemical composition these are very important for uh, us means human beings and animals for example coal natural gas and petroleum they are also used in industries such as iron aluminum gold uranium etc 
these minerals are also used as a medicine and in fertilizers